Yeah. Boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. Aiming at your favorite rapper. Yeah. Play with mod and it get treacherous. God flow, heaven sent. Proof is in the evidence. Ego in my elegance. Thought she fucked the goat, but when I back out, I'm an elephant. What's up, YouTube? Nah, too dramatic. Too dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, YouTube? <laughs> How y'all niggas doing? <laughs> nah, it's fucking corny. What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, it's not much. It's not original. That's Martin shit. That's Martin shit. That's Martin shit. Model walk. Model walk. Suburban. Suburban mod. Okay. What's up, YouTube? How the fuck are you today? <laughs> How the fuck are you doing? <laughs> How the fuck are you? Uh, no, uh, that's not it either. That's not it. Franklin Saint. Franklin Saint. Can you believe this? Chocolate nigga like me. Can't keep a bitch. <sighs> that was good, but it's not relevant. Okay, be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. Hey. You! All right, oh, hold on. I almost felt it right there. I almost felt it. That was it. That was it. This is the energy they want. They want you back, Jay. They want you back, Mod. Bring it. All right. All right. You too. All right. All right. I got to forget that. I got to be serious. I got to be serious. All right. right this is it right here. Two, two, two. You What's good y'all? Right? What's good? It's your boy MOD. I needed to get back in the rhythm. I didn't really know. It's been it's been five months. A lot's been going on with me. A lot's changed with me. My skin's looking better. My clothes looking fresher. You feel me? My glow looking glowier. God is with me. And that's all that's really important. But um, yeah, before we get into the jokes, yo, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a long five months. And I know I always give y'all not really an excuse. They don't be excuses. Life be life. You feel me? Anybody that's out here in this world, inflation is a motherfucker. All right? All right? Because know that inflation is a motherfucker. The rent is too damn high. I don't know why it costs so much just to survive. Bills on bills on bills every other day. But let's talk about something good. I got ADHD. I'm all over the place. The Knicks are 2-0, and and they play tonight in about 45 minutes. So y'all know <laughs> I'm really I'm really coming to put this pain in. Now, I said today I was going to do a question and answer. Now, if you haven't uh, been in tune with a nigga, <laughs> you know, I've been on that Snapchat, my the God 11. You heard it here. I got the best drugs on the app. Nigga, if you on Snapchat and you need drugs, come to me. Yes, something's wrong with me. I need to... All right. Come on, all right, be normal, be normal, get back to being normal. I want to just really take this moment and say, um, I would be nothing without you guys. So these long breaks that I do take, um, I'm sorry for them. Life be life in. And Is it just me or I look like the nigga from the DeVry commercial got fly? And, and you know, sometimes YouTube, for the simple, in the most layman terms, don't pay the bills. And I got bills to pay. And sometimes I be having to put my big boy pants on and go find a new way to go make some money. But even when I'm on somewhere making some money, I know none of that is possible without you guys. You guys were the start from the apex, whether you started with me in Buffalo, whether you started with me on my mother's couch, whether you started with me in the basement with Queen and Clarence when we was in LA, whether, I don't know where you joined the journey, whether you, you boom, Oh, I don't know where you. I don't know where you get on this train. You know, when I was living with my mother, now I'm in Atlanta. When I had a job, nigga, I used to have a job, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't not have a. Well, I still got work to do and a job. I gotta pay my bills, but I wouldn't have a normal. Uh, been freed from the normal nine to five life without you guys. So I come here to first say thank you humbly in my most humble fashion. And I also, yo, the questions for this question to answer when I put the uh, questions on my story, y'all did a great job. Like, yo, 
when I say y'all did a great job, y'all was asking me shit. Y'all had me looking in the mirror at myself. So I can't really wait to answer these questions. I wanted to start this video off with a new vibe because it is a new vibe. I want to say I'm in beast mode. Rest in peace to beast. I don't ever want to come on this camera and, and act like shit. That wasn't my nigga and he ain't changed how I look at the world and me forever. So, you know, rest in peace to beast. And, um... Yeah, let's get to this. Let's get to this. It's been a while. Oh, gotta shake the cobwebs off. Gotta shake the cobwebs off. You feel me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, fine. You saw some? What's love? Is it real or just something that we say we feel cause we don't wanna be alone? Boom, 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 Introducing the many dreams himself. The used to be Patty, the rapper, the funniest nigga on the internet when he wants to be. The most honest. The Mexican trip MVP. I gotta grow up someday. It's not gonna be today. All right, let's get right to it like a dancer. I got all y'all questions. I got all y'all questions right here. Let me speak up and project my voice. You feel me? I had to come back in here and film it because I get yo, there's in all my spots, my little spot where I pray at, the pool where I want to do the outside bit. Um. My other little deck where I be right on the water where the video I started yesterday before the Knicks lost and distracted me. That's the only reason I didn't finish yesterday. All in my areas. Like, all right, let's go through this. I'm not gonna lie, I read a lot of these. You guys actually did a really good job with the questions. Thank you guys for being mature and not just asking me my what my favorite color is. Um, I hope y'all like this little aesthetic thing I'm doing. Like, you feel me? I feel like I need to start giving vibes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you like it, if you like it, comment, you like it, please. Uh, share this video, like. Let's get this video out in the world. You feel me? It's my first video back. I'm talking to y'all about some real, you know, some bro. Some real chill, nigga, what's going through? You know what I'm saying? All right, I got to grow up. Let me take these off. Um, But yeah, so I'm really talking to y'all. So, you know, let's... Share it. Let's do, let's do 20k. Am I asking for too much for 20k? Like I want to be a 20k video with nigga. I'm not asking for too much, am I? All right, let's do it. Let's get right to it. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna read y'all names out too. You feel me? Shout out everybody that supports me and I like the question. Thank you. Um, Loser Patrol 2020. Let's try to move through this. When are you going to settle down? I am going to settle down on in the simplest way to say this when I find somebody that I want to be in love with, that I can tolerate, who can tolerate me, who we can build together, who are on the same page, who we have great communication skills. So if there ever is some friction, we can get over them hills gracefully and not, you know, with a lot of destruction going on. Somebody I can build a family with, somebody who I look at as a woman who I think will be a good role model for my kids in the future and just my empire. Mm, I think I said that good. Would I move back to New York? Absolutely. Anybody that's ever lived in New York would always move back to New York. I love New York. My dream is really to have an apartment in New York and um, in Atlanta because I do really like both places for different reasons. Um, I do miss my friends a lot. Friends in New York, all y'all niggas. I miss y'all niggas. I love y'all niggas. And um, yeah, basically that's it. Um, Miss Vet44 said, why you keep playing around with YouTube, bro? You won't, you just won't give us any of your time. No, that's not true. As I said earlier in this video, um, YouTube has been a journey for me. It has been a struggle for me at times and has also been the greatest blessing that I've ever came, came across in my life. So you feel me? This, like they said, is a thin line between love and hate. It's also a thin line between um, 
chasing something you love, which I do love YouTube and a dream, but also you gotta pay the bills. The thin line between dreaming and paying the bills. You feel me? Thin line between love and hate, thin line between dreaming and paying the bills. And for me, I you know I have to go find me a way to make money. Shout out to Snapchat, shout out to my niggas at Snapchat. I don't got nothing bad to say about Snapchat. You heard what shout out to my niggas at the Snap. But um yeah, I had to go there and, and focus. I know people haven't been focused on that, but when I first had got back on Snapchat at the beginning of this year in January, um, I had 15K followers. Now I have 51K followers. You feel me? The fives and the ones have switched. I green that 36K because I've been trapping every day. If you know, it's my to God 11. So yeah, I'm not playing around. I just need to be comfortable to do this properly. Yeah, I feel like I said that right. Go ahead, my mother. That's my mother and my father paying for that education. Go ahead, girl. And, and pops, do you have a girlfriend? I do not have a girlfriend. What is your routine for taking a girl on a date? Um, me, I like to be interactive with a joint on a date. So uh, usually I ask, you know, I'll ask a girl what she want to do or what she into. Most women like to have fun. I'm the type of nigga, I don't really like to do movies, especially on a first date, unless it's like some shit we both caught up on. Like, say I'm dating a girl, we both caught up on a, a whole Marvel series and Avengers. Now I might go to a, the superhero movie because I know we both want to nerd out about it and have fun in that way. But um, most of the time I like to go like bowling, um, bowling game something like that where I can be competitive and we can be like interactive and I can see more of who you are as a person like yo is she a winner like is she competitive is like like you feel me like where I can see like yo how I would like the, the fun part of this person without knowing the other side before it's too serious and then you know me I like to get you know I usually get some drinks and food some good drinks good food and um yeah, something interactive. Those type of dates I like right there. And then, yeah, you know whatever happens after. <laughs> yeah, nah. Okay, let's be serious. Let's be serious about life. We're back. We need to be serious. We're trying to brand ourselves differently. Come on. Come on, Jake. Get your shit, get your shit together. All right. Um, when you get your beds back, I'm not going to lie. Right now, I'm trapping... Uh, this is a, a whole new era. Like, I, if y'all remember a couple years ago, I had got the apartment and the car at the same time. I'm kind of in that phase right now where, like, yo, I'm, I'm looking to, to get in a new place as well as, like, I got to get back in some wheels. And this, like, it's becoming possible again. Y'all know I have hurdles and hills to jump over with the jail, the probation, the tickets. I was on probation in three counties paying niggas off. I'm finally a free man. You feel me? I'm not on nobody's papers. When I leave the country, they don't double check my warrants, you know, I'm good, I'm good on that, so, um, yeah, that's just the next step in the journey, and, you know, you just, we just gotta be patient and trust God's time, because it's never on our time, word, when the last time you had sex, okay, that's a little spicy, when the last time you had sex, last time I had sex was, like, probably, like, two weeks ago, like, two weeks ago, like, two weeks ago, somewhere in the, yeah, somewhere, like, two weeks ago, probably, yeah, probably, Yeah, but I'm really, I'm really not even, I'm really not even on that right now. I'm not even gonna lie. Nigga said, how much from Snapchat niggas paying, paying to keep y'all on YouTube? Enough. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, if you had a warning label, what would it say? If I had a warning label, it would say, Uh, this would probably be in a relationship. I'm a great friend. I'm not really thinking about friendships and shit like that. My warning label would say, um, it may not always sound to your intake, to your ears, like, um, I want the best for you, depending on how I might be telling you, but, like, I feel like I'm often, like, a tough lover. Like, when it comes to, like, people I want to see the best for. And I feel like sometimes in relationships, that comes across as, like, sometimes to women as, like, judgy. But it's just, like, iron sharper iron. And it's, like, I just, you know, sometimes women be on that, I'm just a girl shit. Like, nah. Be the best girl, the best version of that girl you could be. You feel me? So... Sometimes I could be a little annoying like that, 
But I feel like as I've gotten older, I've gotten way better with uh, communicating how I feel in those ways to women and in a way that they're more like receptive to. But yeah, I think that'd be my, my one of my biggest problems right there when it comes to that. The hardest, what's the, what's the harshest truth you had to accept about yourself? Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's Kiki. Um, I think it, I think all the harshest truth happened at those thin lines, like I said, between love and hate. And I feel like um, I, there's a thin line for me between action and no action because I'm so such an overthinker that sometimes it feels like I had an exhausting day just up here. Like, you feel me? Like, some of my most exhausting days happen really just up here in my head. And because of that, at times I'm not active and I'm not actually making the steps I need to change the things that are happening because I'm so overthinking the move to try to make the perfect move. So I think that is definitely one of my... Um, like truths I have to accept about myself that sometimes even though I'm always mentally maybe the hardest working I need to be more hard working in real life and I can't let that one overcome what I have to actually do to make this thing happen for me yeah yeah okay go ahead mom <laughs> yo wow go ahead and get in deep with yourself um um Shania said how do you stay financially stable without Posting content on the re on the regular. I mean, I got different streams of income, and um, right now Snapchat is doing really well for me. Plus, I still get my music checks from Love Love, which still do well for me. And um, yeah, just little other shit I be pulling off. Look like all these apps. I get paid from every social media app. Uh, a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars, which is always enough or has always been enough for the most part for me to control my um, bills. I'm just not rich, but I'm not like, you know, I feel like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the perception of me in the world is, but we're going to change that. You know, that's what I'm saying. I got to get to it. I'm just not getting to it enough. So it's all right. Um, what causes you to take breaks from content? What stops you from coming back sooner? Um, I feel like with me specifically, when I take breaks from content, it's because life be life, right? And then life be life and right into like, now I feel like a wounded animal. Like, and I know this probably sound, I'm being mad honest right now. I feel like a wounded animal. So it's like, I, even though I can try to fight through it and make content, it's like I can't make content to the full potential of my powers. So it feels like I don't want y'all to see me wounded. Yeah, I don't like to uh, appear like a wounded animal out here because then it's like I'm the only one playing the game with like the deck of full honesty when everybody else is faking like their life is perfect. I'm showing that at times my life ain't perfect because there's days where, I, where life is amazing for me. Every day is not rainy over here. Some days the sun is shining brighter than ever. And um, yeah, I just, I just don't want to come on here and look wounded. That's all. That's what caused me to take breaks. Um, let's move faster now. How do you feel mentally? Mentally, I'm good. I think this video is showing y'all where my head is at. I'm moving forward. I'm getting to that next place in life, and I'm, I'm laser focused right now. Post more basketball content. I got y'all. Um, let's just put another thing out there. My fan base or supporter base over this year are 75% women. Women do not want to see me my non-NBA, not getting paid million dollar ass bouncing a basketball every day. So I'm going to definitely make more basketball content and probably form a niche for it. And at times I'll post it as part of my content on here, but I can't make my content mainly basketball for all the niggas. But you know, y'all know how I get, you feel me? Uh, 
Whenever we do something popping, I definitely will make it part of the bar because I know this. I don't want to speak for all the ladies because it's not a monolith, right? Like like niggas would say on my nigga on Joe Budden podcast. But um, I definitely know uh, everybody don't want to see the basketball content, but I know some ladies do. So yeah, I put I throw it in there. Um, what does happiness mean to me? Yo, happiness means so much to me, but. I don't want to make it seem, I feel like happy is so much simpler than we comp, like complexify it in our head and our lives. Like I'm happy on the days where I just got some money in my pocket and I just did everything I wanted to do and I, I was productive and um, yeah, I saw my friends, we smiled. My mother called me that day. My grandmother, I heard, they still alive, they still breathing, they still on this side of, of God's world and and those days are my happiest days too. So I don't want to just put um, happiness on all the things I want, but uh, that is definitely part of, uh, I feel like a part of me that feels the most whole. I don't know if it's uh, happiness because I'm happy all the time. I think the, the most whole feeling version of me, there's a lot that, uh, I have to get in the world, in the material world, and 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 just that the world of being able to aid, like and provide. Like there's a level of the material world for me in terms of financially that my happiness just comes with being able to provide and 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 relieve people of, of certain stresses that um, life hasn't allowed them to be relieved of just because of my opportunity. So yeah, that's where my completeness, complete happiness comes from. But I'm happy all the time. Um, why are you and BJ not cool? Me and BJ don't have any problems. Like, me and BJ literally don't have any problems. That kid is a nigga who's completely, like, he's his heart is big. He's harmless. Like, he never has a negative intention for you. Like, he literally wouldn't harm a fly. Like, he's literally one of the purest people in the world. I could never not like BJ. Just sometimes BJ is like a little, his perspective is a little um, aggravating to the person that I am or like the person he knows me to be. He, he you know, like I'm not going into no details, but um, yeah, it's just big brother, little brother shit. Like we have no beef. I called that nigga the other day. That nigga just on the internet capping, bro. He just captain. That's why you're asking me this is all leak. There's your answer. I don't have no problem with BJ. I love that kid. He's harmless. Um, what happened to you this year or month that changed you? I'm not gonna lie, I went through a little rough patch at the top of this year trying to figure out like just what the next step was for me. A lot of brands were uh playing with me and um you feel me, it kind of turned me up in terms of like the the level I have to go to and take this thing to. But um yeah, at that moment in time, uh, I was just going through a lot. Like, time had caught up to me. I had mad bills on my neck, and I just was talking to God, and I just really sat there and talked to God and told him, like, bro, I don't want to ever feel how I feel right now ever again. And um, I'm not going to lie, ever since that day, I just made God. He got me through that little rough patch. I'm not going to lie. And... Uh, Ever since that day, I've basically just been on some, like, yo, let me remember, God is in everything I do. And, you know, I already felt that way, and I already have been praying more, and I've just been turning up. But when you see God and you just understand how powerful God is, you know, you just got to trust the journey and the path you're on. And, yeah, that's just what's changed me. Like, you always know you with God. Cause that's how I was raised and that's just how I feel. But it's like I'm really living that shit right now. Like you are, you are like God with me, you are like <laughs> Yeah, like fuck is you talking about nigga like it's me and God, nigga like we really fuck around and like something, nigga like <laughs> so they like really crazy. Um have you ever do, considered doing a cooking show on YouTube? Yes, I definitely want to do a cooking show on YouTube. It's actually coming. I just want to do it at the level in the production where it's like I can compete. At times, it's like one time when I was working with Japan, I was doing a cooking show and it brought you guys a quality where it's like, 
Bro, I was damn near on Food Network. That's how good my cooking show look, lived. And ever since I lost my nigga Japan, it's like I don't got like I haven't found a videographer to build with me. And me and Japan had something special, man. I'm not gonna lie. That's one nigga I miss. I miss my nigga Japan. Wherever my nigga Japan is at, it, I don't know where you at, bro. But you know, there's money. We could, there's a lot of money on the table. I don't know what your life is. But there's a lot of money on the table we could have made back then. We could still make, you know, that was my that was my nigga, man. But um, yeah, uh, I'm definitely trying to do the cook show, the cook, uh, the cooking show on YouTube and the cookbook, all of that. Now the question, I just want you to always keep going. What God has for you is for you. Thank you, Zakia, um, Kiara Levine. That's my girl, Kiara. What is something you want to achieve in the next five years? Um, I want to put a song on the Billboard charts. I'm not gonna lie. Just for me, I just need, like, like I need multiple for my legacy, but just for me, I need one up there. Like, let's keep everything, let's start making these answers short. Would you be signing to a label soon? Probably not. The labels is not knocking at my door at the right time in my situation where I had more leverage or, or I had something moving and I had more motion musically than I do now. Or I, or I, just, or, or I was just more outward with my um, just push for music right now. Right now, I'm... I'm focused on a laser focus to get back to the music, um, a laser focus plan to get back to the music, but I would sign to a label, but at this moment, I'm not signed to a label. Like, I'm trying to build this shit independent, get that leverage, and, you know, really put some pressure on the labels. Pay a nigga! I need to get fucking paid for it. Nah, let me stop. Do you have a shorty you talking to? I mean, everybody talking to somebody. Of course, there's woman that's texting me. If not, what's your type? I like chocolate woman. Of all colors, vanilla, light, darkest, Kit Kat, brown, Hershey, chocolate. I like all flavors of beautiful, melanated, black woman that God put on this earth. You feel me? Um, I feel with other races, too. But really, like, I'm from New York, so it's like I would talk to a Spanish girl. Like, that's just normal to me. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I'm not really I'm not really shopping around culturally with my family. Like my shorty either gotta be black or New York and East. She gotta be black or New York and East. Like that's the only way I'm gonna really relate to her. Like like she gotta be New York and East. Like a Spanish joint from New York, we got a lot of the same values, whether we realize it or not. So I we can we do North and East, you know? Or like just a, I don't know. I think it's like a minority thing. Like if you come from an island, I don't know values. I just need my values to align and me to think you look good on my eyes. That's it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm, yeah, that, that, that's basically the moral of the story. I'm talking too much. Um, what is a major goal of yours you'd like to accomplish this year? Um, I have a financial number in my head that I'm not going to say out loud that I need to have in the bank account before the end of the year. Like, I need to have that away. Like, away from the money I'm making, like, that shit needs to be tucked away. Like, oh, I'm making so much now that I'm not even touching my stash, which is a yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, Any chance of a new hit collab with Queen? Me and Queen can definitely get in the studio. That ain't about a damn thing. Are you dating? Yes, I'm ready to settle down. Ebby Lachey, you got a pretty ass circle. I am ready to settle down. I done had enough of the streets. I'm 30. The streets is trash. I'm trying to cuddle up and play footsies, leg in between thigh, little spoon, big spoon. You know, no yandam in the bond. You know what I'm saying? Because that thing is really mine, you are All right, let me chill out. What's my, uh, did you, all right. Do you ever get tired of social media? All the time. But don't you get tired of your job? You feel me? That's somebody right now. Um, and, uh, I don't want to try to dis diminish it because they paying niggas $20 at McDonald's nowadays. But what, like I'm saying is there's somebody at McDonald's who hates being over the grill fryer all day. You know what I'm saying? Do they got to get up every day and go to work because they got to pay their bills? Absolutely. So I'm not about to sit here and complain about being in one of the more privileged industries of making money in 2024. But, yes, at times you get tired of all the noise. Uh, yes, I get tired of all the noise. Um, what is your real occup occupation? I'm a content creator, bro. Like, that's what I make the most money off of, being my, the content creator. And then, you feel me, I got a stable check. Like, I know what the music going to do every month. I know what that's going to do. 
I got a stable music check, and then I just I get paid from every different social media app, a couple hundred to a couple thousand, depending on which app it is. Uh, you know, occasional brand deal, occasional feature, probably one, two features a month, you know? Enough to keep a nigga on his feet. I'm not rich, man, but I pay my bills. I pay my telephone bills. I pay my eye. Right, something's wrong with me. All right, how much for a feature, man? Listen, hit me, Z, Z Atmosphere. We can work out a very nice deal, man. We can work out a very nice deal. You got to catch me when I'm not really rapping, rapping, because when I'm in shape, everything I'm doing is mad amazing. It doesn't take no effort. So it's like, when I'm more in shape, I charge more. Like now, I have to sit down and really write a verse. Even though I've been in the studio and I've been rapping, but I've been more rapping for myself. But, and like in the privacy on my spare time, just rapping to get a verse and write a quick 16 to keep the stay sharp. But um, yeah, I work with you, hit me. Short term goals, um, my second quarter goals, I got monetary goals for the second quarter. I don't want to tell you how much, I, I don't want y'all pop to watch it. Or just thinking like, yo, why do you think you can make that, you know? Um, have I ever considered moving back to New York? Uh, yeah, I need to get back into rap. And I need to get more consistent with my my content. Oh, back to the short-term goals. More consistency with my content. More two, three YouTube videos. I don't want to talk too much because then y'all hold it against me. But I do want to just get more well-rounded in the content and play the full game instead of being playing this one game, even though I told y'all earlier, I built it from 15K to 51K, because I needed to, it's helping my pocket, so I had to get that platform bigger, but, um, yeah, those are my short-term goals, you know, money in the short term to, to get to my total end-year goal, you feel me, you got to start now you can't try to get to the end of the year in December. So yeah, I gotta start with that. And I just gotta start being more of a well-rounded athlete. Right now I'm only shooting threes from the corner. Like you feel me? Take a <laughs> take a mid-range, hit a pull up, you know, go to the rim. When are you and Clarence doing another hit? Oh Tay was a hit. Me and Clarence would probably never do another song. Seriously, if we ever did another song, it had to be like a parody or like something that was meant to be funny. That's the only way I can see us really doing another song. Um, nigga said, ooh, Brit, Brad, Cool Cat, you said some fire shit, and I'm not even going to say it out loud because I have to see if that is possible. You said some fire shit, and I don't even want Brit, Cat, Cool Cat, that's OD. Um, what's been your biggest growth spur as an individual eminent miracle acts? What's been your biggest growth spur as an individual since Patty Days as an artist? And as an and as an artist. Since Patty Days, my biggest growth has probably been moving to Atlanta. I feel like, um, yeah, I was living on my own at times in my life in Buffalo and shit like that, but I was paying little boy bills. Like this really turned me to a man, like big man Carno, big man uh rent, like all the things that's like, you feel me? You yeah. Yeah, big man, like, big man. So definitely moving to Atlanta made me really have to learn how to survive completely, like, really on my own, no help. Like, I'm really on an island by myself. I got Queen and Clarence out here and shit, but, like, I don't got no immediate family. So, you know, it really be all on me out here. And then, yo, also, shout out to my nigga Izzy. Shout out to my nigga Juice. I got more niggas out here, but I don't, you know. But, um, yeah, that, that's been, moving to Atlanta has been my biggest growth spurt since Patty and as an artist, love love. Like love love changed that poem has me recognizable. Like this weekend I was in a party with um Kane from um not Kane. What's his name? Is his name? I think his name is Kane on, on Tyreek Power. And bro I was able he had commented on my poem and said it was fine. I was able to have a conversation with him and the nigga really knew who I was because of the poem. You feel me? So Definitely, as an artist, love, love. Like, that's made my face glow. But Erica Badu posted me. Fabio hit me in the DM. Like, that shit is definitely by far the biggest shit. Um, what is your ultimate goal when it comes to music? Just to be able to survive off it independent. You feel me? I'm not going to lie. I love, nah, let me not say it. I love content creation. Like, it's a part of me now, so I wouldn't give up the content creation. But, like, if music would have worked two to three years ago, 
and I could have survived off just rap music, like y'all niggas wouldn't even see me. I would be independent touring with just my little secret fan base. I'd be on some rush shit. Like, of all the artists, if niggas ask me all the artists I would want to be right now, I want to be on some rush shit in my own world control where, like, the labels have nothing to do with me. I'm just doing what I want. Playing on my own, to like, oh, Russ got it, man. Yo, send this to Russ. I love you, Russ, bro. And I'm nice like you, mo. Like, I'm nice like you. I'm not gonna lie. Confidently, I'm better than you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have to say that. Like, you, you really probably can't fuck with me, but, like, I know you, this, the type of nigga that respects some shit like that, and you would say that right back to me, and you wouldn't probably respect me if I didn't come at you no other way. But, yeah, oh, D fuck with Russ. Like, Russ, Larry Joan, um, La Russell, those is the niggas that I'd be like, nah, how do I do that? Them niggas, is, they, they just doing it by themselves. They don't got no rules. They doing whatever the fuck they want, you feel me? But, um, yeah, got a little passionate. How do you deal with setbacks and ir irritations? Yo, I usually roll up. Um, nah, let me stop. Um, I pray, man. I'm not gonna lie. I really been focused on praying or just like not looking like looking at things in a negative way. Like, yo, God did this for a reason. I don't get it right now, but one day it's gonna make sense. That that's really just been my my joint. Um, when you dropping the next album? I'm not gonna lie. Before the end of the summer. I need to feel this summer. I feel like I need to feel this summer. I ain't been outside. Yo, I ain't been outside for like a year. A nigga was fighting cases, trying to build money, keep money in my pocket. I ain't been outside in like a year. Like this summer, I'm about to get that feeling back. I'm about to get, uh, it's going to be scary work. But, you know, we, we dropping. It's all coming. It's all coming. Pause. All right. Hey, yo. Ski. All right. Oh, we almost done. All right. I had to ask my other question. Closed mouth, don't get fed. Bella82 asks, how was your last vacation trip? Oh, that shit was the most amazing shit I ever did. Yo, I feel like I ain't been, I never, I never want to, all my vacations in life have been with my family and not saying that's not fun, but it's like, um, it's like my mom, my dad, my little brother, there's only so much we could do. Like, this is the first time I went on like a friendcation and I was with my friends and we just living doing dumb shit, jumping off cliffs, running around, being, like, it was fun, man. I'm like, a lot had a time. I was oh, ultimately mad blessed. Like, it, it was just an amazing blessing. That blue water, I'm chasing it. It's addictive. I wake up every day looking at water, not, not the same. Like, I need that water back in my life. One of the greatest times of my life, I was drunk for 90% of it. Greatest four to five days. I think it was four days of my life. Uh, of 2024 for me. Um, who won Drake or Ross? Nobody's beating Drake right now. Drake is fucking Thanos. He's fighting all the Avengers at the same time. And somehow he still has all the rings on his hand. Um, besides dope music, I'm really on Snapchat. Yo, Alpha Sam 7, I'm on Snapchat. He said, what are you doing now if you really aren't vlogging? I'm on Snapchat. And um, when are you and Spice again going to do another tour? I don't know. That one might be done right there, Mr. Sofella. Um, all right, that's it. That's it. That is pretty much it. This was a good question to answer. Listen, y'all, I am going to try my best to be back for real. As you can see, effort is being put into this. Right now, I already know the effort I'm about to put into editing this video just because I want my channel to be one of them cool channels. Like, I don't want niggas to come to my channel and they used to a certain quality on other nigga channel. Or maybe I want my sauce to be a little different. You feel me? Like, you could get jerk sauce at a lot of jerk restaurants or Caribbean restaurants. You could get barbecue sauce at a lot of restaurants. But you can't get it like you can get it here. Like, you feel me? So, I'm starting to mix my pot and create my sauce. I want to create my own style on this thing and be more creative with it. And, you know, care more. You feel me? I put on a little outfit today for y'all. You feel me? We got on my boy uh, Kicks Clothing and Glock We Trust shirt. Um, this is a no weapon formed against me. We got on some yellow fours today. Um, I tried to go aesthetic. Yellow chairs in the background. Body. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, we put more effort into things. Uh, this is the last little, little note I'll leave you guys with. And I feel like this is really changing my life. Um, yo, if you're an overthinker in the world. 
This is my advice to you. Take your time. Yo, that has literally become my new motto of life. Take your time. A lot of times I get frustrated and I shut down simply because I'm in a rush to get something complete. It's okay if you don't finish it today as long as you're working towards the end goal that you want for yourself. Follow me on all social platforms at MyTheGod on Snapchat. Most importantly, that's paying the bills right now. MyTheGod11. I'm MyTheGod on all streaming platforms. And I love you guys. You know? Hold on, let me get out of here on some etiquette shit.